Hello guys, this is Adam Sadagar and I wanted to make a short video explaining how I keep multiple versions of Python inside my uh, systems and switch between them as I work on different projects. There are solutions like PyENV or PyLauncher, even Condors uh, do that, but uh, I didn't like any one of them because they had some restrictions here or there and I didn't like uh, overall how bloaty they were and uh, each of them had their own issues and I didn't want to fiddle it with, with it a lot, uh, for a long time and try to get the use case I wanted for myself from those things. So I show you guys what I discovered by myself and I didn't actually see anyone else on uh, on the internet using Python this way. So I'll just create, I'm just creating this video so that it's out there and people can use it if they want, want it. So as you can see, I have already downloaded, downloaded uh, the latest version of Python. So let's install it. And we are going to just use the default installation because that's uh, how most of you, most of you guys install uh, Python. So just to show you guys that uh, it's pretty easy, I'm just going to use the def default method of installing. So as you can see, Python was set up success successfully. And yeah, let's navigate to where the Python installation was done. So as you can see over here, Python uh, 3.11 is installed in, at this location. And for most of you guys, for most of you guys, if uh, you use the default installation path, it will install over here only. And yeah, you can see that I have already done a, 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 an older version of Python installed right over here. And I might need to switch between these installations as I change my projects. So uh, what I can do, and just to show you guys that I haven't added uh, Python in the path variables, I just type Python over here and see there's nothing recognized as Python. So I haven't added anything in the environment variables yet. So what we can do is we can just copy this path and uh, open up environment variables. And then we'll just create a path for Python over here. So after copying this directory over over to environment uh, path variables, what you need to do is write a backslash over here and then write Python and just cop copy this thing as I write over here. Percentage pi underscore version percentage and that's it. And you can just copy it again, create a new path variable and create another one for scripts folder. Once that is done, press OK. Then create a new environment variable and name it pi underscore version. And over here, you can mention what Python version you want to use. So if you want to use uh, 3.11 version, then you can just write 3.11 over here. And why are we writing 3.11 over here? Because after the word Python, there's 3.11 version written over here. So we'll just write the same thing as it's written after the Python word over here. And whenever you install a new version, make sure that its its name is its name starts with Python and then continues on with a version code like this. Right. And once you are once you do this, just press OK and press OK over here. And now if you if you see if I open up a PowerShell and write Python dash dash version we are using the correct version of Python, right? And let's say if you want to use, uh, if you want to use this uh, Python version, uh, Python 37, right? S37. So it, all you need to do is go into environment variables again, then edit variable value of Py version to the one you want to use, which is S37 right now. Then restart your PowerShell again, and then check the version again, and it's Python 3.7.9. Cool, right? 
And if we do var.exe python, see there's just one python installation in our uh, path variable. So whenever you run uh, any pip commands, so let's just try pip again. See, even there's just one pip. So if you run pip commands or, and, or you run python commands, it will just use the version which is inside the path variable and it won't confuse uh, different Python versions uh, for different commands as you run it. So this is a pretty, pretty good way of uh, switching between Python versions, which is very simple because you don't need to install anything else other than Python. And another thing is there's just one step to change the version. You don't have to go through multiple steps or create uh, a new uh, virtual environment and do things like that. You just need to open environment variables and switch the environment variable for Py, Py version to the one you want to use. That's it. So I, I hope this uh, small guide video helps you guys to uh, organize your Python versions much better and it helps in, in it helps you guys in your development of amazing Python projects. If you guys were already using some other Python version maintainers, and if you didn't like anything, anything some, if you didn't like something in it, you can just mention down that below, and uh, we can have a discussion on like why is it like that, and why is it why isn't a simple solution like this is well known, right? And apart from that, uh, guys, if you if this video helped you, helped you, please press the please smash the like button. And I hope I see you guys in the next one.